know not everybody is into the whisper videos. I've actually gotten some requests not to do them, and I've got requests to do them. So this is for those who want a whisper video. And I decided to just go through my ocean book very slowly for you guys. This was in my intro video. And I also had some requests to go through the book more slowly. So. Ocean. Revealing the secrets. Ocean dynamics. This is kind of like oceanography. And so this is like a topography map and it shows under the ocean all the different ridges. continents are still drifting and this talks about mid-ocean ridges where magma rises up between two ocean plates and forces them apart so one really big mid-ocean ridge that is on earth is the mid-atlantic ridge and it runs down here so the Atlantic Ocean is actually growing. The new lava and magma is coming out and solidifying and forming new, new earth, new crust. Trenches. Um, that occurs when two plates under the other and crumbles. They converge. One gives way to the other. In the Pacific Ocean, Mariana's Trench is the deepest area on the Earth. That's a little over 36,000 feet. Deeper than Mount Everest is high. <laughs> So the Pacific Ocean is actually shrinking because that's a convergent, those are convergent plates. And it talks about global warming and changing sea levels. 
energy coastline. Kind of where there's a shallow slope to the continental slope. It's gradual. The Atlantic east side of the United States is a low energy coastline. The Pacific is definitely rockier and it gets deep really fast. It's not gradual. It's got better waves for surfing though. <laughs> And this talks about circulation, currents, and climate control. And this shows the different currents in the ocean. Polar ice sheet. There's a wind that blows west and it blows the top water with it. So cold water comes up from the bottom to replace it. That's called upwelling. Where upwelling occurs, cold nutrient rich water comes to the surface. It's highly productive because cold water holds more oxygen. Therefore, it holds more nutrients. However, occasionally, down. So upwelling ceases and productivity ceases. So there is a collapse in the anchovy fisheries, etc. It also affects Australia and Japan and parts of Asia because without the wind carrying that moist water, they will have times of drought. in the ocean. found an algae that grew way deeper than scientists thought plants could thrive without sun. They're currently researching it at the Smithsonian. Plankton, the foundation of ocean life.
nicely. This talks about land crabs. Sometimes when you go to the beach you might see like ghost crabs or crabs in the marshes. So it's a coconut crab. Pinnipeds, that's seals, sea lions, and walruses. So the animals there have had to learn how to survive with a range of salinities. common in estuaries and mud flats. The worm here. Estuarian fish, most fish in estuaries are there to either lie their eggs or their babies. It's kind of like a nursery for them. There's lots of marsh plants. This is the common area where people visit when they go to the beach. Those look like little scallops. The animals here have had to learn how to deal with the tides. 
Here's a ghost crab. They're common on the east coast. Suspension feeding animals like this worm that bury into the sand and then they stick out their little plumage to kind of filter the water. shell was in my shell video. trees 
feed because the cold waters have a lot of nutrients. Here's some beluga whales. A bearded seal. Polar bears, walruses. Krill. Um, and the Arctic, it's
of sharks in the open ocean, whale sharks. I'd like to do a video just on sharks for Shark Week soon. Whales, dolphins. Rays. Then we get to the abyss. The deep ocean where we have lots of strange creatures. Pressure is extreme, so these a lot of these species in the abyss and the dark zone, the twilight zone, have characteristics that enable them to survive there. A lot is not known because it's difficult to bring them up to the surface without their bodies imploding because of the change in pressure.
the picture you saw and you wanted to know what it was, I would be happy to 